Hey everyone, the Shuffle Buffle here, episode 3, season 3 of our Swansea career mode. And once again, this is a full transfers uh, episode. First of all, we have Juventus saying no for the Alberto Massi uh, offer that we've put in. And I'm unsure whether I go in again. Apparently 8.5 mil is what I say for Alberto Massi plus Chico. Uh, Manchester United want a better offer for Butland, and I basically say you'll get the, uh, essentially the same offer. Uh, I gave them 18.5 mil. Barcelona also coming in, so I think I give them the same. And I'm pretty sure Barcelona, the type of club who uh, are definitely looking to spend big money for players. Um, Chico, uh, Liverpool have said 4 mil for Chico is okay, which also means that uh, Alberto Massi. Uh, transfer doesn't go through because they already signed him. Um, but Lund also being chased by Real Madrid, showing that he is a great keeper and that lots of people are looking at him. I mean, 79 overall, 21 years old. Looks like he could be, uh, he has great potential. But if we can get more than double uh, his price, then I'll be quite happy to sell him. Uh, Lorenzo Insigne, we also go in 9.5 mil plus Mahid just because um, he is a much better player and he'd be a great uh, backup for us. Adam Matthews there, we managed to sign, I believe it's 8.5 mil. So uh, we got a um, much bigger squad, hopefully, uh, to come in. And obviously, it's definitely a plus that we have Thomas Callas and Adam Matthews now. Callas, for some reason, is um, worth a lot less than Adam Matthews, and I'm not sure why, because uh, he does have some really good stats on him. Probably better suited as a centre-back, but uh, still really good stats. Uh, Real Madrid have said, we don't l like the price tag you've given us, and we're going to stop chasing him. And obviously, new signing arriving being Adam Matthews. Manchester United saying, we want 11.5 for Butland, and once again, I'm saying uh, you'll get him for 18, I think it is, 0.5 mil. Um, Manchester United keep saying they want around 11 mil, but I'm not willing to sell him for that little amount of money. Callas is stopped being chased by QPR, and Chico has arrived at Liverpool, and that means that we need a new centre-back. And I was looking at Juan Jesus, or Jesus, uh, I think he's Brazilian, so I imagine it's pr uh, pronounced with a H. Offer, I think it was 7.5 mil. Uh, there we have Butland. Uh, Barcelona even, except in 18.5 mil for Butland, which means we need a new keeper as well. So the first keeper I look at is Emiliano Viviano. Um, he looked like quite a good player, but um, as you can see, the chief executive said he is one of their best players and you're going to need to uh, pay a lot to get him away. Um, here again, Lorenzo Insigne uh, is... Uh, not available apparently from Napoli and I don't think I spend any more than 11.5 mil because uh, I won't have any money for any of the other players. Manchester United saying we don't believe Butland's worth that. Um, 9.5 mil is what we put in for Juan and I mean he does look like a great centre-back and he'll be our main centre-back if we do manage to get him. Benedetti getting a... Um, Offer there from West Brom, but we say we want 15.5 mil just because he's been such a good centre back for us. He's young, he's only a uh, 76 overall, he's got a lot of potential in him. And Palermo agree with the uh, amount of money that we gave. So we say crucial first team player 45k, which is what he wanted, and two years along with a clean sheet. Uh, obviously, West Brom have said uh, we don't want to pursue. Uh, Benedetti again because of the price that we put on him and once again Napoli say an acceptable offer which means that I'm nowhere near getting a deal for him so I just leave that. Butland leaving for 18.5 mil meaning we have 14 more mil to spend and we are at the end of the episode so I hope you've all enjoyed. I've been the Chef Buffle. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you all next time.